For this first exercise of chapter 12, we're going to count the letters in a list, assuming that we have a list of words. Now, it'd be very easy to count the list of words. You simply use the len function on the list. But counting the letters takes a little more work. So we're going to look at how to write a recursive function to do that. So let's get started. We're going to call this program chap12ex1.py. We're going to call our function count letters, and the parameter will be a list, which we'll call words. So the first thing we do is we test the base case, and if the length of our list is less than 1, then we return 0 because there are no letters to count. Otherwise, we return the length of the first word in the list plus and then a recursive call to the function and then we take a slice of the list starting at the second word or word sub 1 and we write that slice 1 colon so that will get all but the first word that way we will slowly work down the list until our if statement becomes true so we can test this function with a little program here. We'll have a four word list. Then we'll print the list just so we can count the letters easily. And then we'll call the function with the list. And here we'll see what we get. So we'll save it. Open our command prompt window. Run the program. And we see that there are 12 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's add a few words to that. We'll add for all good people. Save the program again. Run it again. And this time we get 28. So we know that there's 12 through time. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So this was a recursive implementation of this problem. Now, of course, we could have written an iterative solution also, but it's always nice to at least try the recursive solution to see if it's easier to write, if it's more intuitive, because a lot of time problems will lend themselves to a recursive solution versus an iterative solution. In this case, I'd say either one would have been fine, but it's certainly not that difficult to find the recursive solution to this problem. And that wraps up this first exercise, and we're ready to move on to exercise two.